I'm Turi. I'm the CEO of Demotics. Demotics is a street wire. That's what we call ourselves. And what I, the point of Demotics was initially to try and set up a safe space for freedom of speech all over the world. Somewhere where anybody, really anywhere, could go in safety, security to try and upload their stories and tell their stories both domestically and to the wider community. We're also, of course, a wire. We also we sell that content on. There are two things that we're trying to do. One is to take stories which are ne which are never being told. AP and Reuters are massively shrinking. All the foreign correspondents have been cut from all the big newspapers. Photojournalists are the were the, were the first in the sense to go. We're not getting the stories. We live in this crazy, huge, apparently globalized world and have increasingly uniform kind of content. So my idea was to try and do two things. One, to be able to get these stories out so that people can civilians can talk truth to power in some basic sense. Two, to take those stories and have to push them as wide as we can across the viral networks that we've built up with Twitter and Facebook and on Demotics itself, which sees tens of thousands of people coming to see those stories every day. So that this, the plight of textile works in Bangladesh or uh, the tigers of hell knows where, they're, they're, they're being pushed out and they're being told. One. Two, what we do is to take that content, sit you know, layman, professional, pro-am, whoever it is, we don't mind, to take that content and push it out to the mainstream media, where we get an even bigger sort of bang for our buck, where we get an even louder voice. Because, of course, they're taking those stories, they're printing them, and they're being seen in the case of Iran, with Iran stories that we had by, by street journalists from Tehran who were on the front cover of the New York Times. They were seen by millions and millions and millions of people. So, one, we're trying to foster real freedom of speech in places where that's not necessarily very fashionable. Two, we're trying to supply the media with an alternative source of information, which is desperately lacking, and a different kind of information, the information told by locals in local places, not by foreign correspondents dropping in for 15 minutes and then leaving. And three, we're trying to create a social business model, so that because we're, because we're selling, we're licensing this content, a little bit of money, 50% of the money goes straight back to the contributor, and then we hope incentivizes them to get more involved in the whole business of telling stories.